Nigerians will recall that a former governor of Imo State, Shivrochas Okorosha, once said that those being referred to as unknown government are actually being sponsored by the Imo State government. What happened to Ikenga yesterday has further given credence to that allegation. The coalition of United Political Parties has called for the arrest of Chinasa Wanere and aid to Imo State Governor Ope Izodema over the alleged attempted assassination of Ikenga Imo Gochinere in his country home. The coalition stated this during an emergency press conference on Sunday, January 15, 2023. While addressing journalists in Abuja, the co spokesperson of the coalition stated that the perpetrators behind the arson in Akokwa, the Idiato North local government area of the Imo State, are known. We do not, I, I repeat, we do not subscribe to the generalized and precipitated description of those who attempted to kill Ikenga as unknown gunmen. They are not. Far from it. These are known perpetrators. An African adage says, the wish bird shaped yesterday and the baby died today. Who doesn't know that it was yesterday's wish that killed the baby today? Ikenga was openly threatened by an appointee of a city governor just last month. And yesterday, an attempt was made on his life with billions worth of property destroyed. His uncle and supporters killed in a most brazen manner without a single intervention from security agents until they were done committing their atrocities. It will be recalled that the residence of the National Spokesperson of the Coalition was attacked by some unknown government on Saturday. The attack led to the death of Nkenga's uncle, Dan Ikeaguno, and three other yet to be identified supporters of the party. Scores of vehicles and houses were also raised. Although the People's Democratic Party stated in a statement that no fewer than 32 vehicles were burned, the coalition claimed that 100 vehicles were born without repair. In a recorded phone conversation, China San Juanere was caught threatening to attack Nkenga whenever he was seen in the States. This followed the attack on Nkenga's convoy as it arrived in Imo State on December 23, 2022. The coalition stated that Nkenga has been under attack since he raised alarm over an alleged plot to compromise the integrity of the forthcoming 2023 general elections with the upload of fake registrants into the voters' register. Whose only crimes are, one, speaking truth to power and exposing sophisticated rigging schemes of anti-democratic forces. His other crime is his decision to exercise his constitutional right to contest for the House of Representatives for which he is eminently qualified. Those are the factors that infuriate the wielders of evil powers in Imo State, especially as they have seen that it, they cannot match his popularity in the contest and his victory at the next election is already guaranteed. While accusing security agency of showing no or little concern, even as Ikenga's life is in danger, the coalition therefore calls for quick intervention and the immediate arrest of Chinasa and everyone involved in the arson. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not missing words in holding the Imo state government squarely accountable for the terrorist attacks against the king Imo Igoshiri in his Akoka country home, resulting in destructive arson and murders. Even as we speak, we have it on good authority that all the exit roads from Akoka have been put under surveillance by some personnel of the Imo state government with direct instruction to some hoodlums to assassinate the Kenga whenever he tries to leave that community. Therefore, there is the immediate need for the police and department of state services to quickly mobilize their personnel to protect Ikenga before these characters carry out their wicked plans. <laughs>